your character, how you behave, how you do things, how you react to things. To get here. So that is one thing that is really important to this organization. And uh, the reason why I called you to you remember this same company, I asked you to start as a cleaner and you were like Didn't you see me come? Please, I'm sorry. Are you I'm out sorry. of your mind? Please, I'm sorry. I didn't see. I'm you didn't sorry. see who? You saw me come, but you intentionally did this. Please, I'm sorry. Please I won't take your apology. Please, I'm sorry. Don't you ever try this nonsense with me. Are you out of your mind? Don't you ever try this thing. Idiot. Um please, um where is the interview happening? Uh please uh, inside inside. Okay. Thank you very much. But please can I ask you one thing? Oh feel free, go on. Yeah. You see. <coughs> this is what I do for for living. This is what you do? Yeah. Are you but, serious? Yeah, but you know I have a lot of things to take care of, but I'm short of money. I have no it is this morning. Uh, I don't really have much on me. Are uh, you let me get you something? Wait. I'm sorry, here's all oh, I have. God bless you. Oh, I, I, I wish you good luck. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Yeah, come in. Stand up. Where are you going? No one asked you to sit. Sit down. Okay. You are welcome. In our company. So, how may I help you? I was going for a work interview. That is okay. Okay, it's Vivian. So, you said you were called for an interview. So, what are you applying for? As an accountant. So, tell me about yourself, your qualification, what do you have? Um, first degree in business. Accounting and management. Okay, that is good. Do you have any working experience? Yes, please. Mm, for how many years? Two years. Two years. Okay. Can you tell me about your former place? Oh, oh. Your challenges and. Oh, that place is very good, but the payment was in in now. Okay. So you left the place because of payment? Yes, please. Uh, are you married? No. Okay, then why should I trust you with my money since you are complaining about the payment? Because I'm very good in management. Mm, okay, okay. I've seen your CV and it's really impressive. But I really want to employ you. But I really want you to start as a cleaner. Cleaner? Why? Because it's below my qualification. And if I wanted to apply for a cleaner, I would have done it. Wow, I love your confidence. Yes, you really know what you have and you understand yourself. Wow. Okay, please, can you call the gentleman outside for me? Okay. Good evening, boss. 
Okay, you're welcome. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Miss Vivian and uh, Mr. Edmund, you are both welcome to our organization. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I've checked your series and both of you are on point. And one thing that I want you to understand is in this organization, we are not only expecting or we are not only accepting what you have on paper, but we are also watching out or we are also looking out your character, how you behave, how you do things, how you react to things to get here. So that is one thing that is really important to this organization. And uh, the reason why I called you to, you remember this same company, I asked you to start as a cleaner. And you were like, why should I start from a cleaner? It's below my qualifications. Even if you wanted to be a cleaner, you should have applied for that. Mm -hmm. yeah, I love your passion. But you remember on your way here, you met a man outside. Yes, 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 yes. <sighs> and uh, one thing that I want you to understand is in life or in organization, there are rules. And in our organization, we are not always about your certificate. We are also after your character. I was watching what was happening outside. It is that I have changed my dress or my shirt. I was that same man. You even slapped me. Hey. Yes. I was the cleaner. I'm very sorry. You are sorry? Sorry yeah, for what? I was in a very bad mood. Bad mood? Yes. Oh, okay. I hope a bad mood can employ you, right? No, I'm very you, sorry. You, you don't have to be doing that. You don't have to be doing that. In this organization, we, we train our workers to respect others from the low bottom to the top. Because without a cleaner, well, this place would have been clean as you are sitting here. No. Without the secretary, would you come here to apply for the account? Mm -hmm. No. So you came here, whatever happened over there, you just slapped me. Oh, wow. So how am I sure that if I employ you, you don't go around slapping our customers? No, I am not do that. So for your information, you cannot be working here. Oh. No, no, you cannot be working here. How can you go around sorry. slapping people and you want me to employ? No, I was very in a bad mood. Yeah, that bad mood is taking you out. Because your character is not acceptable here. You look for people who are what? Respectful, who work out with what? Diligence. You get it? So please, I cannot employ you. No. Mr. Edmund. Yes, sir. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. I really love the way you treated that cleaner. <laughs> Actually, I have the same thing. I know, I know, so, I know, sir. you have the, the position. Thank you, sir. You oh, are now my new accountant. Thank you, sir. Thank so, Ms. Vivian. Thank you, sir. Ms. Vivian, your time has been wasted. No. Oh. You have to check your character. Oh, it's part of the interview when you have failed. I can't employ you. It's simple to understand. I really need this job. You really need this job. Yeah. You can go back to your former place. You were like, even it shows that you were lying to me. No, I wasn't lying. You told me it's about money. But yeah. your character is really bad. I'm sure you were sad. No, I wasn't sad. But yeah, I'm going to sack you. I'm sorry. So I'm, sorry I'm very sorry. Yeah, it's not going to happen. So please kindly. Stand up. You stand up, stand up. Oh, stand up. It's part of the exercise. So, Ms. Vivian, out of my office. Out of my office! Foolish girl. Idiot. You think you can portray any character and you, you want to work here? Yeah, once again, you're welcome. Thank you, thank you, sir. I love the way you treat people. And these are the individuals we need in this organization. Once again, 
Congratulations. Thank you very much. Okay, so you can start working for Monday. Thank you very much. God will you bless you. And I promise I'm going to do my best. Thank you very much once again. You're welcome. Jose, I'll take my leave. Okay. All right. Thank See you on Monday. All right. Thank you. Wow. Oh, I wish everyone is like this. Please. Congratulations, you've got yourself a job. Oh, thank you very much. Thank You're you welcome. very much. Thank you. And then you, so you think and for you, hold it, you are fired. Me, fired. This very moment. And you think I don't need you in this company okay. anymore. Hello, lovely people. This is your boy Michael Brown. Yeah, I'm a proud member of Loss of Life GH. We encourage you to follow us, watch our videos, give us subscribe and share. Don't forget to click on the notification button so that whenever we drop a new video, she will get it. Until then, see you then in our next episode. See ya. So, Venice, um, as I was saying, we will need new employees, okay? okay? So, have you gotten everything ready for the conference? Yes, please. So, these are the files, right? Yes. The ones I requested yes, for. Please. Venice, what is this? What is this? Why are there so many typos? Oh, sorry, it's a mistake. I'll do it right now. Do you expect me to accept that kind of excuse? What kind of mistake is this? Do you expect me to say this in front of them? Madam, I'll do it right Give now. Give it to me back. Madam, sorry, I'll do it right when, now. Whenever you make a mistake, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. So you think sorry will solve everything? Sorry. Do you think apologizing will solve everything? This is the kind of behavior I hate here. Okay, the last time Opo Opoku did that, you saw me sack him, right? Yes. I've kept you here for the past five years because you've been dedicated to doing your work, but of late, you've been messing up. Sure. You better get your acts back together. Do you know what? I'm going to get you sacked. Yes. As I'm employing new ones, you are going to go back to the basement. No, madam, I, I work hard. Then you have to work harder. Okay. Okay, I hate this kind of things. And then at the conference, I'll end up go going. Like, I don't even know what to say. Madam, please, God. I'm sorry. You're the cause of my migraines, you know that. Because this is not the first time. Sorry, sorry. Get the things ready. Ask the secretary to type everything needed. Okay. And make sure you post everything online that I need a new employee. Okay. You get it? Okay. Or else you go back to the basement. Yes, now get out of my office. Thank you, sorry. Hold on. Are you a virgin? Yes. yes. I'm asking you a question. Yes, I, I am. Should I get you one? What, at lunch? No wonder. She leave. Okay. Um, so what are you here for, young man? Okay, ma, I saw an advertisement online uh, that the company needs workers. So that's why I'm here. Um, which job exactly? Cleaner, please. A cleaner? Yes, please. You have a certificate? Yes, please. I mean, a, a university degree? Yes. Are you sure you're here to be a cleaner? Yes, please. Uh, I've been a cleaner before at the KKD hostel oh, okay. and also the MMK hostel. Uh, so, um, from the look of things, you are very fluent with your English. And I would like to offer you a different job. Mm, what do you say about being a salesperson? Oh ma, I can I can clean very well. I can clean very well. The bathhouse, the corridors, the room, everywhere. I've been doing this for like five years now. So I'm very good at it. Young man, I'm actually offering you the job of a salesperson here. Okay, I mean, your, your, your resume is very good. A cleaner with a resume. I mean, who wouldn't want that person to get a higher opportunity? So, I'm offering you the job of a salesperson. I know you've never done something like that before, okay? So, I'm offering you this job. Since you've been able to work in hostels, this disrespectful university student, you've been able to tolerate them. I think you would rather be good at that part. You'll be good with the customers and the clients. 
And that's the kind of people I need in my job. Okay, ma, I will try. You will try? I'm giving you a position as a source person. You're telling me you will try. I've not done that work before, so I will try. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Um, um, I would like for you to start work tomorrow. Exactly tomorrow. Benis will give you all the information you need about it and where you'll be stationed. So, um, I hope you wouldn't be bringing this attire to work tomorrow. No, it looks, so. it's not even iron, my god. You look like a coconut seller on the street, you know, those with a real bottle. Oh. Uh, I don't expect any of my employees to be in such a attire at work. It's, it's a disgrace to the company. Yes, what please. do you do with your pay when you clean? Or they don't even pay you at all? Uh, I've been off the job for some time now. No, oh, okay. I, this I, is I, one of my best. I, I get it, but you know what, as you are going to work for me in this company, I want you to look very nice, okay? A tattered clothes or an un ironed clothes would deteriorate my image and the image yes, of this company. Everyone needs to look neat yes, and very, very punctual as well. So, do you have an official wear, by the way? No, please. You don't have one? Mm, I'll tell Benis, she already showed you here, I'll tell Benis to give you one and then I'll deduct it from your pay. Okay, ma'am. Um, so you can start work tomorrow. Okay. Um, so as we've agreed on now, so you can start work tomorrow. Thank you, ma. Yeah, Thank you very much. Okay. I'm grateful. Oh, you're welcome. Ah, he, he's not even tagged in. God, Benis, Benis, Benis will just take anyone in because he wants to be a cleaner. You just take him in and it's close. God, the coconut cell on the street even looks better. Bagel. I'll get her fired by all means. I'm going to get her fired. You're welcome, madam. Thank you. May I know your name, please? I'm Diamond. Oh, okay, I'm Francis. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. You're welcome to my office. Thank you. So, how may I help you? Oh, I'm here to advertise my products. Okay, is it a local product or international? Yeah, locally made by myself. Oh, that's okay. Is that what you learned in school? Not really. I did business in management. Okay. I have a master's in it. Okay. Yeah, and I even have interest in media. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So how did you come about this product? I was taught by my auntie. Wow. Is it a family business? Nah, it's just my auntie. That's okay. Interesting. So this is your interest in uh, media. What do you plan to do? Go to the media school or? Nah, I don't think so. Probably I might. But okay. for now, I'm just focused on my business. That's okay. Interesting. So, about the advertisement packages, we have the morning show, the afternoon show, and the drive time packages. So, for the morning show, it is 1,500 cities, and the afternoon show is also 2,500 cities. And we have the drive time, which is also 3,500 cities. Oh, okay. So, you have to make your choice. I'll go with the morning show, the 1,500 cities. Okay. I would like you to go for the drive time show. Really? The 3,500? Yeah. Yes, please. <laughs> Are you going to take it in installment? <laughs> oh, no. Uh -huh. <laughs> we don't have such packages, you know. I can only uh, afford the money show, you know. You know, it's not about the money. Mm -hmm. It's about the show. It's a, it, it's a very interesting show. Oh, okay. Yeah. We have a lot of people who listen to the show. So go for the drive time. It will help you. It will advertise your product Answers. very much. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. You get it. Yeah, okay. Don't worry Francis. about the money. Okay. You'll get money to pay since you are in business. Right. Try their drive time. Trust mm -hmm. me. Francis. I think I'll think about it. Francis. You, you don't have to think about this one. Really? Just trust Francis. me. Trust me about this. All you right. know. If it's this so. So, yes, madam. Francis, how many times have I been calling you? Once, please. Once. Right I've stood now. there for nearly five minutes calling you Francis, Francis, and you are here flirting with your customer. I Relax, mean? madam. Shut up. I'm speaking to my employee. That's not how you should behave to your employee and the customer. 
And who do you think you are to show me what to do? I'm the one who brings money to your table. And if I don't exist, you do not exist. If I don't exist, how will you be able to pay your staff and yourself at the end of the month? I've worked here for the past 10 years. Mm -hmm. Okay, the past 10 years. And you saw the chats. The chats is what brought you here. So you're not the first selfish, ignorant, arrogant customer I've dealt with. Do you know something? You just described yourself right now. You're being disrespectful mm -hmm. to your customer and their staff as well. Oh, come on. Enough! Just me an answer. How dare you call me by my full name and it hits the table? You've grown wings, right? You've grown wings. Hold it. I'm Francis Asaribidiakum. The CEO of this company. Of course. And you've just confirmed all that I've been hearing about you. What have you been doing? Your rude, selfish, disrespectful attitude you are displaying in this company towards customers and your colleague in this company. You see, I've been talking to you people about customer service, but you don't seem to listen. It's not about you. It's about the customer and the company's well-being. Now, you see, for the past few days I've been here, I've gotten to know and confirm all that I've been hearing from you. It is so bad of you. I'm sorry, I won't take this in my company. You hold a master's in management, right? Yes, yes please. Congratulations, you've got yourself a job. Oh, thank you very much. You're thank welcome. you very much. Thank you. And then you, so you th and for you, hold it. You are fired. Me, fired. This very moment. And you think? I don't need you in this company anymore. Fired. Out of this company. Me, fired. Yes, and you are fired. And you think she can replace me? You know what? When I'm leaving, I'm leaving with every employee that I brought in here and top the charts for you. You hear that? I'm and sorry, that's... you don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about. They all know I'm here for you. Fine. And make sure you don't live with the company car. If you want more videos, remember to subscribe, hit the notification button to get more videos. Lots of Live TH, inspiring the next generation through filmmaking.